Hi, today I'm not going to do a turning, we're going to do a, a rocking horse. A friend of mine, she does hand-painted uh, rocking horses, and I, I put them together for her. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll give you all the measurements at the end of, end of the video, so if you want to make one. But I want to say, too, I put the, the a little logo for my website in the bottom there, and I want to thank everybody. You guys have been uploading some awesome pictures and videos of, of stuff you're doing, and just some incredible stuff. Uh, very nice. And thank you very much, but if you haven't checked it out, go check that out and uh, upload your uh, latest project. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, here are my, my pieces. I'm going to use to trace out. Um, I went and bought a piece of plywood, and then after I was done, I found a some old shelving I had. So I'm going to make actually make it out of that. It, it it all fits on there, on there nice. And that way I'll save this for some future ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and place them on my on here and trace them out. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I have it all, all the little pieces uh, traced out here. And I'm going to go ahead and make the, all the straight cuts on the table saw. And then we'll use the, the jigsaw to make our curved cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the table saw up for that. All right, I got all the straight straight edges cut out, and I'm just going to use the bandsaw here to cut out the curved pieces. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, and then I'll just clean up the, the edges here with the oscillating sander. All right, I went ahead and I got everything cut out and sanded up. The first thing you want to do is, is mount uh, the smaller plate onto the, the bigger, this is actually the seat part. So bring it up to the top here and then use the, the actual sides to center it up. So it's feel right when it gets to center and I had to adjust it just a little bit to get, uh, I had to sand this down just a little bit to get it, get it to fit in there. Center that up, and then once you get it centered up, then you can. Well, I use brad nailers and glue is what I what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue back in here, and then put it down. Use the brad nailer to uh, secure it. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue here around the outside, and set it on here. And. Bring it up to the top. And then use the sides to center it. Make sure we're flush up there. Then once you have it have it glued together, you can take it back over to the orbital sander and you can see like that area right there and clean it up so it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, have it all cleaned up nice and smooth. And I like when I when I sanded these, I actually clamped them together and uh, so I could sand them at the same time. So it was nice, nice even arc there. So alright, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and mount on the rails and then we can and put the supports in in here like that so i'm going to go ahead and, and do that and same thing i'm just going to run a bead of glue down them and uh and brad nail them all right have those on now we can go ahead and put the supports in and adjust them a little bit if we need to. Looks like I need to trim just a little bit off of that end there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Trimmed it off and then just run a bead down it. And then use your use a brad again. I need to well, maybe trim it down just a hair. All right, <clears throat> then bring the front support back just just to where it's not not hitting on the rails there. Put your glue on. Again, put a brad in. And actually, put two of them in those. That one. All right, and then I'm gonna. 
your head on like that. But I'm going to uh, hand sand this a little bit to, to smooth out the edges real quick, and then I'll mount the head. But there we go. All right, let me clean this up real quick. I forgot to put the where are we at? I forgot to put the hole in for the handle. So doing that. Turn it over. There we go. Then that way, by by not uh, punching it all the way through, it makes a nice clean cut. So, all right. Now we can mount it on there, just like that. So I'm actually going to screw it for a little more support than the than the nail the brad nails would give it, and I'm going to screw it from the underside. So, so I forgot to mention I put a couple of holes down from the top so that we can put the screws in. There we go. And then I put another one right down there. All right, and then I uh, have my dowel here, and I went ahead and marked center on it. So I'm just gonna slide it in, and then uh, right there, I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on it. And just kinda, kinda twist it as we go. That should be there, center, and right about there. All right, and like the one the one I showed in the picture actually had antlers and and turned it into a reindeer. Um, she's made uh, one that looked like a moose too, so and that one's that one's kind of neat. I don't have pictures of that though, but um, you can color it up however you want. Uh, I think she did one made it look like a saddle with uh, stirrups and everything on it, which was really neat too. But if anybody knows how to upload like a PDF of for plans for this, let me know and I will do it. But I'll give you the measurements real quick on, on this stuff. Um, so the two support pieces are, oh, what are they, nine and a half by four for the front one and nine and a half by three for the rear. And this is the lower lower support under here, under the the main part, and it is nine and a half by the very front point fourteen and a half, and then the outside piece is eleven by oh, sorry about that by sixteen eleven by sixteen. And like I said, then the horse's head you would need to do yourself unless you can figure out how to we can upload the plans to this. But the, the base of the horse's head is seven and a quarter. And then you cut the the slot in there to fit that. And then the outside rails are uh twenty-two and a three quarter. And I think you can adjust that to just or 21 and three quarter, but you can probably just adjust it to 22 by five and a quarter. So, the, and then those are, those are both the same. So, but if somebody can, you know, tell me how to upload a plan for that, I would do it and have it on my website for free. It's not, I just don't, don't know how to do it, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh, it's a fun little project for kid or grandkid, but thanks for watching.